marijuana or medical cannabis versus access to recreational cannabis, it's as if they're two different things. So are they really two different things, or are we talking about just cannabis for medical use versus cannabis for recreational use? Well, I think it depends on the, uh, in the preparation. The answer is yes to both of those. Um, they are different in that, as we've discussed, uh, CBD would typically not be desirable from a, a recreational point of view. That's not why people use recreational cannabis. And in fact, the reason that we're only starting the research on CBD over the last five or six years, despite the fact it was discovered first uh, over 40 years ago, is because it was there were no high CBD strains that were available in the recreational market initially. And it's only the establishment of the medical system here in Canada and in the U.S. that's motivated people to, to breed and to develop these high CBD strains that have become so efficacious for so many people now. So that is a distinctive characteristic in many ways of medical cannabis. Now, that's not to say that THC doesn't have therapeutic properties. It's a powerful analgesic, anti-inflammatory. Um, it has a number of, uh, uh, of therapeutic properties in and of itself. Um, so... The same strain can be used for recreational purposes that can be used for medical purposes under some circumstances, but I think that there are uh, quality control methods of ingestion, for example, that might be more distinguished for medical use versus recreational use. Um, if you want a la long-lasting, uh, even, even effect, then oral ingestion makes the most sense for that. But for example, for someone wanting rapid uh, onset of effect, let's say you're suffering from a migraine and you're starting to get uh, the auras associated with migraines or the nausea associated with migraines, oral ingestion isn't going to make much sense. So uh, vaporization in those cases, or maybe an oral mucosal spray would make the most sense. There's also ongoing product development, for example, um, for patches that would uh, be uh, usable in, in terms of slow delivery of, of uh, medicinal cannabinoids into the system as well. So a lot of the research right now being done, not just by licensed producers in Canada, but by pharmaceutical companies around the world, um, are looking to... Uh, uh, to modulate the endocannabinoid system that we all have in, in ourselves. And that's quite different than the recreational use that we see where people are, for example, you know, you, making high THC gumby bears.